Hey guys, welcome to another Diecast Emporium video. Uh, we're going to do things a little bit differently in this video, so it's probably going to be a little bit longer, which means more rambling about nonsense. Um, so, if you want to see what's in this box, just fast forward and I'll put in the description whenever uh, the actual first model comes out. So, this has been something I've been waiting on for several months now. They just were shipped yesterday. So, I'm sure many of you already know what this is, even if you can't read the title, of course. But they just dropped this off today, which is good. So I get a chance to upload it while I'm at the office. All right. Also, the reason you're not seeing the box in the screen is because it's huge and you wouldn't be able to see it. So just one by one, I'll manage to pull these things out here and uh, give you guys a, a look-see here. They're definitely packaged... Uh, very tightly grouped together. So, the first one out of the box. Here we go. This is the gray, the slate gray Caterpillar CT680 with the four axle Rogers Flip Low Boy. Um, in this configuration, the trailer is black, the truck is slate gray. So, we'll go ahead and put that one aside. The first big notice is it's very unusual for any Caterpillar product to, uh, to come in a branded box other than Caterpillar. So really kind of uh, kind of was, wasn't prepared for that, so that's pretty neat. Next up, this is the um, standard yellow Caterpillar CT680 with the matching yellow um, four-axle flip low boy. What we're going to do here is once I get through showing you guys all the different color and uh, axle configurations and the like, I'll open up one of each. Um, I know I've reviewed Rogers trailers before, and obviously everybody knows I've reviewed the uh, CT680s, but what the heck, why not? Next up, here's your three-axle tractor with a three-axle low boy. The three-axle low boys do not flip, so only the four have that ability to flip, but that's the yellow one of that. That is the only color combination that was offered in both the uh, three-axle tractor and the four-axle tractor. All right, dig deeper into this box here, bear with me. Okay, and once again, I stand corrected, excuse me. They also did that for the slate gray. So here's the slate gray three axle tractor with the three axle low boy. WSI. Nothing on the back other than this product code, which shows you the livery, the article, and uh, the product code. Two more. Here is the three-axle blue CT680 tractor with a white three-axle trailer. I actually like that white quite a lot. That looks very nice. Um, this would be a great low boy if you have some road tech equipment because that color com combination would just look great. Okay, next up, and the final one out of this box... We've got a red tractor, three-axle uh, three tractor, and a white three-axle low boy. And as you can see there, there's already some damage, but that's okay. Hopefully it's just a super glue fix. So without wasting too much time, let's go ahead and get one of these open. And since this one appears to already have a broken part in it, um, let's go ahead and get this thing open. The CT680s, unfortunately, for as much as I love them, uh, they definitely had a lot of issues, namely quality control issues. But still, as a huge fan of Caterpillar and collector of Caterpillar equipment, I definitely wanted one of each of these sets. Let's go ahead and slice this thing open.
So here's our diesel tank that's become dislodged or petrol tank for my friends across the big pond. Uh, looking, looks like it's a relatively clean break, so that shouldn't be too big of an issue. But an irritating start nonetheless. So here is the white three-axle Rogers Lowboy. Very nice simulated wood paneling up on here. These hydraulic lines right here are what are used to raise and lower the gooseneck mechanism. And they just plug into the side of the gooseneck. Here, obviously, are your ramps, which fold down. You can pull them back up. Also, all of these planks or outriggers, um, most of you guys know what these are, but for those that don't, if you have a wide load equipment, such as an excavator or something that takes up more than the available space, you put these planks out and uh, you can extend the width of the trailer for an oversized load. Here is the gooseneck. Again, same Rogers gooseneck product that we've seen earlier with the WSI peat sets and long before that. Nice detail. Here are your three holes for your lines that would plug in. Here's your plastic release or break. That is what you would push in underneath the trailer. This is your kingpin that would go into the fifth wheel. And yes, for those of you who are wondering, this will fit onto your peat or WSI uh, not Pete, excuse me, your sword or WSI tractor that you own. It is the same trailer mechanism. They haven't changed the casting whatsoever. Also, there's some nice detailed lines up here. Here is the tractor, which I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time on. Um, again, you guys have seen kind of more than enough reviews of this CT680, especially by me. But there she is, unchanged. Uh, from the original Tonkin one whatsoever. There's really no difference. I'm trying to brighten this up a little bit. Apologize for that shake. Um, one of the biggest complaints was everybody, you know, number one, quality control is a big issue. Uh, also, the doors didn't open. The hood didn't open. It was, uh, it's really an unfortunate way for Tonkin to go out. But anyway. So up here, you get your, you have your fifth wheel here, and this will slide forward and back. So you, if you have a different size trailer or whatever you're pulling, you can accommodate that. You can see the shine here where you have the full range of motion on pushing it forward and pushing it back like that. There is notched steering on the front, but the full range of motion really isn't available. And obviously, if you didn't catch before, this is where the um, the diesel fuel tank should be affixed to the model. So now to the smaller details that are also included. Here's your boards that I mentioned earlier that you would just put on the outriggers on the low boy. And nice to see that they have included an oversized load sign. Sorry about that glare. There we go. Oversized load. Okay, so let's see how this all works together. Basically pretty simple. Put the gooseneck right into the trailer by pushing straight down, just like that. It will click into place. Back up your CT680. Hold on to the release pin on the mechanism. Push straight in. And you're good to go. Oh, yeah, let me push this back a little bit more. It's less than optimal uh, reviewing space at the moment. But that's how the truck looks. Pretty cool. If you guys actually want to see a, uh, another video on the four axle flip low boy, let me know. It's essentially the same thing. The only difference is there's a pin at the rear of the trailer um, that you push out. And once the pin's taken out, you can flip the... Um, you can flip the, the final axle on the trailer up if you want to, or put it down for a wide load. But overall, these are very, very nice, and it's cool to see that um, one of the more well-known die-cast companies managed to get a hold of the last of the CT680s and uh, turned them into something that looks pretty decent. I'm not sure that the tractor fits the quality of the trailer. Really, the only selling point for most people would probably be 
Um, if they didn't have a chance to get the Rogers trailer beforehand, and now they, you know, now they can get one now. To my knowledge, the only two that are still available are the Cat Yellow four axle and the Cat Yellow three axle. Um, as of the taping of this video, that is my understanding that those are the only two that have not been sold out. So definitely look into uh, Google searching where you can get one of these if you really, really want to. So as always, guys, I appreciate you sticking with me and bearing with me through this almost 11-minute video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit lengthier, but sometimes people like a little bit more in-depth and lengthy video. So let me know, as always, what you, what you think. Have a great weekend. Be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.